Christian Bland, and I play in the Black Angels. And we are sitting in front of my pedal board, which I recently updated before this last tour that we went on. So it's nice and fresh to me. It has a couple new items on it. But uh, most importantly, it's got everything on here that I used on Wilderness of Mirrors, the latest album. So everything sounds like it did on the album whenever I play live. So I have like, you know, the right guitar, the right pedal, and I can exactly mimic what I did on the album, which we try to do. Pretty much every pedal from Passover to Wilderness, um, I can recreate the sounds with it on here. So it has like the earliest pedal um, from Passover is the big muff pedal. That's like the Young Men Dead sound in uh, Black Grease. I must have ordered that in 2004 when the Black Angels started off of, um, I think, maybe even Mars music or one of those pay you play. Like we couldn't, I couldn't pay for what I was <laughs> buying at the time. That's just the one that they had in the catalog. And it's a, um, the Russian Big Muff and it's just whatever they had at the time, that's what I got. And that's what I, you know, drew to love. Like, I only like using that pedal with my Rickenbacker, with this and the twin. The Rickenbacker, that, and the twin is the sound combo that, that I love. If I use like a Fender, Jaguar or something with that, I, I don't like it. It sounds too like modern to me or something. But I like to have a, a wide array of like a thick, which would be like the big muff, uh, thinner, so like a solo or something to cut through everything. And then just kind of middle, like if I strum the chord, kind of like Velcro-y sound, like thick. Um, milkshake kind of thing. Yeah. And the reason why I like the twins so much is because it's so clean and these shine like their true sound. This doesn't color it that much. So yeah, the Dr. Robert is supposed to be like the, um, the Vox um, amps, the solid state amps that they use like on Revolver and Sgt. Peppers. So this gets that sound. Um, and I mean, it's it's awesome. It, you can, it totally sounds like those like lead parts on Sgt. Pepper's and um, and on Revolver, Turbo Tube Screamer. That's one of my originals. I went to a Brian Jonestown Master show in 2003, and the uh, guitar player is Ricky Miami. And I asked him what pedals should I get. You know, after the show, I went up and asked him, and he recommended that. I've had it ever since. <laughs> I love it. it it's. That's the, the Black Angel sound now. Very nice. Two streamer. On um, our song, Entrance Song, on Phosphine Dream, it's just this Rickenbacker and uh, the Fender Twin, and that's it. Just adds the grit, it's the clarity of this amp, but it adds just a little bit of hairiness to it. This pedal, the depths from Earthquaker Devices, I have not had that on long. I love Jimi Hendrix, and this is a univibe -y kind of thing, and I usually use this um, when I have a fuzz on, and I'm not like playing notes, but feeding back with this, it sounds just like gnarly. It's kind of an in-between song when I'm letting feedback go and we're transitioning into another song or at the end of a set, I just turn it on and then our sound guy like can pump it while it's feeding back. <laughs> the Boonar, so I love the Echo Rec. And this is the smallest Echo Rec reproduction. Like in order to fit all the pedals that are on here, I have another Echo Rec uh, called an Echo Sex T7E2 that is the closest I have to a real Echo Rec, but it takes up way too much real estate. And this sounds pretty much just like it, and it's so much smaller. So that's why I have that on there. Five on the, the uh, reverb scale. Well, here's a 10. Well, re 
reverb, I think, is um, a key factor for me. I wouldn't, if I could only have one effect, it'd be reverb. Uh, because I, I, I don't, I, dry as a boom guitar just doesn't do it for me. You know, reverb helps to cover up my, <laughs> my errors too. So. <laughs> but, but I like the sound of playing guitar in a huge hall. You know, like if I were in a, um, a big cathedral with a, an acoustic, I, I love the natural acoustics. And so, but reverb, surf guitar, surf music was a, another huge influence on me early on. My friend showed me the, the Ventures Live 1965 in Japan album, and that was a life changer. There's, so like Piper that gets it done and that and Sgt. Peppers, there's all ingredients thrown in for why I wanted to start playing guitar. This Big Sky Reverb was a new addition um, for this last tour. I've only had it about a month. The, I have th a three spring reverb on here, so that's already extra depth. Um, and this adds like, I mean, that's like 100,000 leaves into the sea. But I like the plate reverb setting um, and the hall. Added with this just makes it. It's funny because I would turn that on during the show, and um, Stephanie, our drummer, with her in ears, was like, I don't even know what you're playing because it's like so watery. And it also has a magneto setting, which is another echo rec setting. So I can, I have the Bunar pedal, which is echo rec, which can be on one delay, which is like, go, go, go. And then this one can be like, go, go, go. And then, uh, then on this one, this. <laughs> This, we have the echo set on the Friday the 13th setting. <laughs> That's what this does. And it, I call this the brains of my operation. In fact, tomorrow we're going to Mexico. This is my one carry-on. It makes the, the uh, twin that I'll be renting down there into magic, more like my own. You know, it's, it's got a preamp in it, so it just makes it like, thicker and kind of like spongier or something. I can really tell when, I'm, when I just plug straight into the twin and I don't have that, I feel naked. It's like it, it's not doing what I'm used to it doing. So that's a crucial element to everything that I have going on. There's your Friday the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it from two-dimensional into That's the original wall. You have the triple original situation going here <laughs> for, for the Black Angels. It's a, um, I believe it's a 1968 V846. So early on, I was, I was obsessed with cream, Disraeli gears. And so, you know, I had to get like a, the late 60s wah. And that'll, that sounds just like Disraeli gears, like a Tales of Brave Ulysses. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, <laughs> like water. This one, it's like it doesn't even stay in position anymore. It's so old, it's just always down. But, um, you know, I mean, it's another thing I've just gotten used to. I love how it sounds. I, I, hopefully it never breaks and it can always be fixed. <laughs> this is uh, my Rickenbacker 345. So um, I originally had a, an SG that I bought back in 2001. Um, that was the first expensive guitar that I bought. I had that uh, all the way moving to Austin and I moved to Austin in 2002. Alex and I got back together. Alex, the lead singer of the Black Angels, left my gear at his house one night. Somebody broke in and they stole the SG. And the very next day I got on eBay and bought this. Um, <laughs> um, being obsessed with the Beatles, this just happened to be up on, the, uh, on, on eBay at that point. When I got it, uh, so I bought this in 2002 and on the bottom it says 2001. So I just always figured it was probably from 2001, but inside here, it smells like an old attic. So things didn't add up. <laughs> I was like, I guess it just smells old, but <laughs> it's from 2001. Eventually I found out that that is the serial number and about 15 years into having it, I went online, typed it in and found this from 1978. There you go. <laughs> Not bad, huh? I bought it for 1200 bucks. So that's a pretty good deal in 2001 for a 
for a 1978 345 Rickenbacker. This is the 330 shape. Uh, a 340 is three pickups, and 345 means that it used to have a whammy, which it no longer has anymore. But no worries with that, because with the super shifter pedal, I have a whammy. Another Beatles inspired, this is a 12 string like George Harrison used to use. And I love the birds also, but you know, I needed a Rickenbacker 12 string. This is my preferred 12 string. So um, left-handed ones of these are super hard to find. I was typing in left-handed 12 string Rickenbacker for about 10 years. And then one finally coming up and having to bid on it to get it. And I got it, so. This is extra nice when you put on the uh, Dr. Robert with it. This is my utility guitar. Like if I had to fly somewhere and bring one guitar, this can get me um, the sound of the Rick um, or anything. It's just really thick and can do anything. Um, you know that I need it to. It has the nicest case that I actually do for flying, so that's why I would fly with it. All my other ones are wrecked. Fender owns Gretsch now. We have a good relationship with Fender, um, Michael Schultz, and he hooked me up with this guitar for free. So I've had this almost 10 years. Thank you, Michael, by the way. And it's become one of my main guitars. Yeah, Country Gentleman, um, another George, George Harrison used. Um, Lou Reed, Velvet Underground. Um, you know, it's, it's the Velvet Underground machine. So I had to have one of these. I'm pretty obsessed with the Velvet Underground too. But, oh, check out the Super Shifter here. Sounds almost the same, right? So like I was telling you about the SG that I had stolen, um, I was in search for an SG for the longest time. This is a custom shop, um, I guess, uh, um, an early uh, 62 version of an SG that I put the Vibrol on it um, and I uh, put this on, but um, I always wanted another SG. Um, the, it's the Robbie Krieger, the Doors. The Doors were a huge influence. And Cream, so found this. And um, I, I think it's just, it's a beautiful guitar. It just looks beautiful. The color is amazing. Um, and it's, it's definitely my loudest with these humbuckers. I, I, with, whenever I play it, I have to turn down the amp because it's just beyond. Yeah, we got the casino. I've had this for years, but it, it, getting see, seeing the get back, breathe new life into this, I was like, yeah, I gotta play that more. Actually, a little funny thing. This I got this. I, I made it look just like John Lennon's. It didn't have the silver E right here. That's how obsessed I am. It had one of the just regular like little E things I found online. The silver one that looks <laughs> just like his. <laughs> so I ordered that up. Now it looks just like the one and get back. It's like what he used on Rubber Soul and uh, Revolver too. But he stripped it down for in the get back sessions. But this is what it looked like in Rubber Soul and Revolver. So. Yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, if he used those paint brushes, I'd like to use the same ones and see what, what extra stuff I can do with it, you know, going through my brains. I can't do exactly like how, how he did it, but I can have his pencils and paint brushes and stuff to try to see, you know, use, use what he did my way, though. So that's kind of how I think of it.